let us discuss one filtering pattern example so here this video will be assisted with some practical demonstration for the easy understanding of the concept so in this example we are going to filter those posts where the number of comments is zero so i want to filter out those posts where there is no comment is there so actually we are taking out some subset of the posts from the main set so to execute this task, we need to use the posts.xml. So we are having one XML there, we'll be working on that. The output of the task will tell us how many posts need to be deleted. So let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding and implementation of this concept. We are discussing under the filtering pattern, the design pattern, the example is filtering pattern example. We are having one XML file posts.xml under the folder slash input slash post having got size 108.93 MB. So it's a big, uh, big, uh, big file this one. So let us see the current content. I've just shown some part of it. Under the posts uh, tag, we're having multiple number of rows containing multiple number of attributes. So this is a row number one. We are having this one as row number two, row number three and so on. There are so many rows are there. Having attributes ID, post type ID, so that is the second attribute, accepted answer ID, creation date, score, view count, body, and then we are having this one as owner user ID, last editor user ID, last editor date, last activity date, and then we are having the, uh, the title, then answer count, uh, tags, and then answer count comment count, favorite count, this is a community own date. So in this way you are having multiple attributes are there. So we are having the other rows. It is a map only job. So here the name is filter MR task. So only one Java file we are having here and it is a map only job. So here we are having the deleted low count comment which extends the mapper class. So we are not having any reducer here. So this particular class deleted low count comment because it removed contents with low comment count. So that's why the name of the class has been given accordingly. So this is the inner class and it is overriding the map method. It is overriding the map method. So it is the map method is there. Within this map method, we are having one, we are having one enumerator that is the delete count, which is having only one value that is the deleted, only one value that is the deleted. We are having the XML parsed. This XML parsed is hash map object. It is getting instantiated with this XML to map method. So here is the current content of this XML to map method. This XML, XML to map method will take one XML as input and returns one hash map object as output. So from this XML parsed get uh, comment count. So we are, uh, the comment count is one of the, one of the attributes were there within the XML so that will initialize this count if count is not equal to null or count dot equals is zero then context dot get counter and delete count dot deleted dot increment one so now uh, CTX is the context object and it's uh, corresponding get counter that is a deleted delete count or deleted the value will be increased by one so it, it has been kept in the try catch block it has been kept in the try catch block now we shall discuss the main function. The main function will take command line arguments. So it will take two command line arguments. So they'll be accessed with the uh, ARGS one, uh, zero and one. So if the command line argument is not having the length just equal to two, then exit two. So the system will terminate here. Program will get terminated with this particular error message. We're defining one job instance with the name remove contents with low content count. So here we're having this one. And here we are having the set jar class is this and then add input path. So file format will be going for this arg0 and set output path the args one Set mapper class that is the deleted uh, delete low uh, count comment. So there is a mapper, uh, mapper class and reducer class we don't have. So no reducer will work here. Now we shall initialize the output key and output value with this uh, writable, null writable class and all next one is the text class respectively. Depending upon the, uh, the status of the completion, whether it is true or false, 
0 or 1 will be returned and that value that code will be returned later on but before returning we are just going to print the respective number of deleted comments is equal to value and the value has been obtained using that formula that is the job dot get counters find counter deleted delete count dot deleted dot get value so whatever we got the incremented we did the increment there and ultimately the value will be uh, kept and the value will be printed so before going for the execution you are supposed to make the jar file of this class so how to create that one so we have gone for the package name and then in export and then we are selecting the jar then you shall click on the next here we are supposed to keep the proper path proper the jar name for jar name file name so jar file name so everything has to be given and then next and finish but already we have created the jar file so we're not going to create the jar file once again so let us go for the execution and let us show you that how the command is to be initiated the command is hadoop jar the command is hadoop jar and then map reduce uh, design pattern slash jar file so this is a path and the jar file name is filtering pattern dot jar so there is a jar file name and then filtering pattern is the package name and the class name is filter mr task so there is a class name input file there is a post dot xml is under this slash input slash post folder and the output folder is our slash output so this is the output folder we are having so we are given the input path and also the output path as argument 0 and argument 1 now we have executed the command and we are finding that uh, the counter is 0 i think the name node is in the safe mode so name node is in the safe mode so let us uh, make the name no, uh, name node to come out from the safe mode so the respective command should be given as is the hadoop and then we shall go for dfs admin and then we shall go for minus safe mode and then blank space leave and enter so now the name mode uh, name node will come out from the safe safe mode the command has been executed once again so remove contents with low comment count so you see the number of deleted comment is equal to four five four seven one so there is the number of deleted comment whatever we obtained we got that one printed from the java class now let us come to the output folder here let us come to the output folder you can find that output folder is there has got created but no part file is there no reducer was there so that's why it is a only a map only job so let me delete this output folder and the command is dfs sdfs dfs minus rm minus r and then output i hope that you have got this idea that how the program has to be executed thanks for watching